Coach Tommy Lloyd and the third-ranked men's basketball team are likely to jump to number two in the rankings since second-ranked Auburn lost and the Wildcats took care of business against Pac-12 rival Oregon. And what a crowd it was in McHale Center. You could definitely feel the energy as tens of millions of people tuned into the ESPN broadcast. Dare I say, the energy at McHale Center brought back memories of legendary coach Lou Olson's years with the Cats. <laughs> As you can see with Kirk Kreeza before tip-off, it was a Vegas-style show atmosphere at McHale. And after the game, when you have players like Kreeza celebrating the 84-81 victory by actually going directly into the crowd to involve the die-hard fans, you know you have something special at McHale Center. Gives new meaning to the phrase I coined, Kirk Kreeza is out to please you. And just before that celebration with the fans, with time winding down, tie game, under 90 seconds left, Kreeza would nail the 30-foot three-pointer. That all but sealed the victory for the Wildcats, and the seven-game losing streak against the Ducks is all over with. Great result, and in Oregon, I thought played a really good game, and I'm gonna give him a ton of credit. Credit also to the fans who turned out and were loud and proud. And how can you not get pumped up when the Wildcats are throwing all kinds of alley-oops and hustling down the court for dunks and layups. Benedict Matherin led the way for Arizona by scoring 24 points, grabbing seven rebounds, and dishing out five assists. It was fun. Uh, the crowd was going crazy. And uh, it, was, it was a really good experience. So I, really, I had a lot of fun. That crowd frenzy began in the morning with ESPN game day in town. This time around, Throw out the records, Arizona's nationally ranked, Arizona is playing for that number one seed. The ESPN crews, they definitely recognize the significance of this game, and that's why there are crews like the ones you see right behind me. Crews that were not disappointed, as the Wildcats are just a couple of wins away from clinching a Pac-12 title. It could be in the books, it's gonna be very hard for any team to catch the Arizona Wildcats. That's because they have a three-game lead in the Pac-12 with just five to play. During the final stretch of the season, it is all about Arizona playing to solidify a number one seed in the NCAA tournament. The road to a Pac-12 title is on its way. That's it. Almost a done deal. Mike, drop. Thank you for coming out. I'm Paul C. Kala. We'll be right back.